Today we're making peppermint marshmallows. Welcome to my home. Today we're making a peppermint marshmallow which will be really cool. And it's simple to make. And now if you are a vegetarian, this is not the recipe for you because it uses jello, gelatin. I will not go into how gelatin's made, look it up, you'll understand, but if you are a vegetarian, you will we'll figure out an alternative. This is three packets of unflavored gelatin. And then I have half a cup of water. I'm just going to real quick stir that up just a tiny, tiny bit. Now we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. All right, while our gelatin is gelling, I guess you'd say, what I want you to do is to take a uh, baking pan, eight by eight, nine by nine, this choice is yours, and we're going to line it with parchment paper. This is really, really important. And then I will spray the pan with a butter flavored spray. This is really important. Then you're just going to lightly sprinkle powdered sugar or confectioner sugar onto this and set it aside. Now what we're going to do is a uh, part which you're going to have to keep an eye on. You are going to take two cups of sugar and I'm using raw sugar. Two thirds of a cup of light corn syrup. You notice I'm putting this in a fairly big pan, a pot. You don't have to use a pot this big, but it was the one that I had out. And then I have a fourth of a cup of water. I'm going to take this over to the stove and bring this to a boil and boil it for one minute. All right, once you have your, pan, your sugar mixture boiled, what you're going to do is you're going to slowly add it to your gelatin mixture. You need a strong, and I mean a strong, stand mixer. Why do you need a strong stand mixer? Because now we are going to whip this for about 12 minutes. Keep an eye on this. We're going to let it go for 12 minutes, and it's going to go from this. We're at the halfway mark, and you can see that this mixture has gotten much thicker, and also it is getting much lighter in color. We're getting close to being ready to make those marshmallows. In the last minute of, of mixing, you want to add one tablespoon of peppermint extract. Now we are ready to take this wonderful sticky, and I want to stress this, really sticky mixture and put it into our grease pan. Every utensil I'm using is greased. If it is not, the stuff will stick, and I mean it will stick like crazy. Let's pour it in. If you use white sugar instead of raw sugar, your marshmallows will come out crystal, will come out white. The raw sugar will have them come out with that uh, brown tan type color. Once you get yours out of the pan, put this into the refrigerator and let it sit for about two hours. This stuff is really, really sticky, but we wanna let it sit and firm up for about two hours and then we will come back. Make sure that you clean off everything now. Now is the best time to clean stuff off. Our marshmallows have firmed up. Yes, they have. Now comes the fun part and the gooey part. You are going to want a lot of powdered sugar. They stick to everything. Did I mention that? Stick to everything? I'm going to take a knife. This is important. Spraying the knife down then cutting quickly through the marshmallow then we go across you can cut these however big you want that is up to you okay now the other trick and this is the trick which i found which is really cool i'm going to take a bag you can use a paper bag you can use a plastic bag does not matter put in some powdered sugar take your marshmallows break them apart and dump them into the powdered sugar. Then just place the marshmallows on a paper. What this does, and that's just parchment paper, what this does is it keeps the marshmallows from sticking to each other. Now I like to store my marshmallows on wax paper and put them in the refrigerator. They last a lot longer. You can dry these out slightly by not putting them in, into a container, but it's up to you. Let's give one a taste. They are very like jello-y kind of 
marshmallows. They are the soft on the inside. As you dry them out, they become more like the regular crusty type marshmallows that you used to. But these are so good and taste so wonderful. You can make s'mores with these. They just work great. Remember, store them in a refrigerator. I just do that just as a precaution. I don't know if you have to, but that's how I like to store them. These have the most wonderful peppermint taste. If you wanted to make other flavors, you could. If you make these, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little red button there. Every Friday is a sweet treat. And as always, remember, why buy it when you can make it yourself?